Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a kind of tutorial slash just a little playing around with some new makeup. I hit up the drugstore and picked up a ton of new products. I have received some new products as well. Some of them are new, some of them are not new, but they are all new products to me and we are diving into the deep end of the drugstore affordable life. All of these products are in the drugstore realm and I use them to create this very, very corally summer bronzy inspired look and I'm wearing neon because I want to be bright and fresh and summery and playing with all the all the summer colors today. If you want to see how I created this look then please do just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to see more videos like this from me let me know all your thoughts and feedback in the comments down below. I really hope that you enjoy this makeup look and please do just stay tuned to see how I did it. All right let's get started with this do thing. I'm gonna tuck it mine hair. I've got my wound here. Okay, listen, I wanna to talk to you guys about this wound for a second because I don't know what, I, I have a lot of like texture on my face. These just like hard, they're not necessarily zits, but they're just like hard pieces of texture beneath my skin. What is my hair right now? This is interesting. And this particular one got like a little bit big and bulgy and I like physically, like a freak, scraped it out of my skin. So I actually had a little hole here where I scraped this, this hard thing out of my face. I don't recommend, but um, yes, I am now wounded, so there we go. Please try your bestest to ignore. Oh, I'm gonna try my bestest to ignore. So I'm going to use the Olay Mist, the Energizing Hydration Mist. This one makes me sneeze every time I use it, without fail. The scent just like gets right into my nostrils and tickles it like a So I'm just not gonna breathe while I spritz it. Hey, that worked. Feels really good on the skin. It's just, it's just got a lot of fragrance in it. What can I say? Okay, this is a new product. This is the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. And this one looks really beautiful. Oh. Apparently, I have a faulty cap. Okay, cool. Well, that that is just a loose hanging cap. Can you guys see that? That is just chilling, dangling by a thread. Perfect. Great start, great start to this. Well, it looks beautiful. I was swatching it on my hand earlier. It's got a very lovely sheen. I'm gonna try and go Katie Jane Hughes up in this and I'm going to use a little paddle foundation brush. I'm always fascinated when she uses this to apply things to her face. So I kind of wanted to try. Oh, that does feel soft, wow. Okay, so I wanted to actually just try this on one side of my face because you guys know I've, I've got a lot of redness in my face and it said that this is supposed to help with redness on the skin, which was very interesting. I was kind of, hmm, it feels really cooling. <gasps> Could this be a magical product? It smells like breakfast oatmeal. Is it working? Is it making the redness go away? It is super shimmery, honestly. It's really beautiful and the texture's lovely. There's no like chunky glitter bits, which is cool. So I'm just gonna apply that all over, highlight my entire face. Shine bright like Rihanna. This primer looks absolutely divine on the skin. My skin looks wet and dewy and healthy in the best way. And also, this is the MAC 133 brush. What a fun, soft way to apply products to the skin. I might have to try that more later, but now I've used it with like shimmery products, so I feel like I can't use that. We can try. Hmm, actually, maybe. <gasps> Let's try it anyway. What the heck? I got the beauty sponge as a backup. All right, for foundation, I was very curious to try this. I haven't dabbled with too many new foundations from the drugstore at all lately, but this Revlon Colorstay Full Cover Foundation. This one is supposed to be matte without being dry or cakey. I got this one in the shade 320 True Beige. Oh, you know what? It actually doesn't look too bad. It looks so dark on my hand, but that's, I guess, because my hand is so white. But it actually doesn't look bad on my face. It actually blends in so... I need to hold up a closer mirror. This looks, like, so nice. It looks like my skin. Look at that. Oh, my word. This little, this little brush life is fun. Katie Jean Hughes. It may just be the primer underneath it. It's probably a great combo. Like whenever I'm using a matte foundation in general, I always like to, I mean, I always like to up the dewiness and hydration, but 
I think with a very, very bright, glowy primer, it will always make the matte foundation look a little bit more juicy juice and like your skin. I'm gonna try going over with the beauty sponge and just adding on another layer just to see how it looks and builds up. So far, so good. This, this looks incredible on the skin already. I feel like I've been really impressed with so many base products lately. Like not many base products have been have been disappointing, which is very rare for me. Maybe my skin's getting more, no it's not. It doesn't tolerate more, that's, that's a lie. I'm gonna stop it right there. I don't necessarily think this is the most full coverage foundation. It says full cover, da 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 da. It looks fantastic, but I still see a lot of my redness and blemishes, but this looks like my skin. It's positively beautiful. It didn't cake up or anything with an additional layer of the sponge. That looks great. Shvit. Let's move on to concealer. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer, another product that I haven't actually tried. But I am very, very curious. This is an antioxidant concealer. Oh, that's a lot lighter. Oy. 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 <laughs> that's like white. Hold, please. <laughs> I also have this concealer, which is a little bit deeper. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. I'm just gonna take that to mix in with this right now because that one was so light in comparison to the rest of the base. So I'm gonna do a little mixology here. I'm not doing like a full foundation review or anything. So let's just, let's just mix her in. Okay. And then I'm gonna blend that in with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Whenever I'm blending out concealer underneath my eyes, I always blend it out and then I take the product that I've just blended and immediately go on top of my eyelid just to kind of set in that area as well. So I go underneath the eye like this until it's like somewhat mostly blended and then I just go right over top and usually a little bit of that excess product that has gone into the sponge will just disperse over my eyelid and kind of very nicely and lightly cover up any veinage that I've got under there, so. I think that those concealers were a lot more matte looking than the foundation was at all. I've really, I've got a true matte look officially all over my face now, but it's not like, it doesn't feel very tight or anything. It feels very comfortable on the skin. Full coverage though, hot dog, full coverage indeed from this one. I wanted to try out this duo stick, the Rimmel London Insta Duo Stick. This isn't a new product at all, but it's new to me. I've never tried it. I got the shades light and medium, and when I was swatching them earlier on my hand, there's actually not much of a difference in the shades at all. I'll show you guys here. Like, can you really tell the difference? The light is here and medium is there. Not really a difference in shade at all. I'm actually like, I'm almost convinced that they are like the same color which is kind of whack. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the medium and use that to contour. It reminds me of the Lancome Le Duo stick. I used to love that thing. I need to pick one of those up again. It's so good. Let's see if I can remember to blend out underneath my lip this time, shall we? I'm also gonna apply some of the highlight side to the cheekbones. And I'm gonna set it with powder later, but I just kinda wanted to play with all the colors of the rainbow today. So I'm just gonna take a brush and blend out that contour. Damn, that really set in quick. That is, that is tough to blend out. Ten points for Gryffindor. We remembered to blend out under the lip. <laughs> Hey, that dried down really, really quick. I would not recommend going and applying all of the product at once like I just did. Like maybe just do one section at a time because now it's completely dried down and I've got some like lines from where the product didn't blend out immediately, which is really unfortunate. And I'm feeling like I have to like push onto my skin really hard to get that product blended out. So not the biggest fan of these. That was, that was a little bit difficult to use. Now these bronzers, these are the Maybelline City Bronzers. I've never used these before. I picked up two shades, 200 and 300. 200 looks to be a little bit light. It's supposed to be a bronzer and contour powder in one. I'm gonna take a little mixture of the two just cause I feel like my shade would be like right in between these right now. Oh, wow, wow. 
Oh, that's a creamy powder that goes on so nicely. Damn. There's a lot of fallout when you put your brush into these pans that flies everywhere. That bronzer looks fantastic. Moving on to highlight. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner, Super Stunner palette. Now I was swatching this earlier and a lot of the like actual highlighty shimmer bits came off with the first layer. And when I swatched it on the back of my hand, it honestly looked pretty, can I say matte? It was weird. I'm curious to see how it looks. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of just looks like a plain powder. It's definitely more subtle. I thought by the look of the palette, when I picked it up, like on the shelf, it looked like it was gonna be a lot more poppin', but it's actually a very like subdued highlight, which is obviously very nice for every day, but it's not as shimmery and poppin' as it, as it looked in the pan, is all I'm trying to say. I am using just the lightest shade in the palette. There was one palette that was lighter, but the two, like it looks, there's like a light, medium, and a, and a dark in these palettes. And in the lighter palette, the two deeper ones looked very, very silver, which I don't like. And that's why I went for the one deeper, even though I most likely won't be able to use these two deeper highlights here. It looks really nice, not too bad. For blush, I was really excited about this. This is the shade Sparkling Coral, and this is the Marcel Cream Blush. Marcel is a Canadian drugstore brand, and this just, I love the packaging. It's very, very simple, and this color just looks stunning. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. stipple brush. Just wanna see how pigmented this is. It's honestly not too bad. <gasps> oh, yeah, wow. That's really nice. This really, really reminds me of the Nude Sticks Tiger, what's it called? Tiger Lily Peach, something like that. The most recent corally one from their Blooms launch. Could this be a dupe? <gasps> I think so. I need to compare the color exactly now. Tiger Lily Queen is what it is. So Tiger Lily Queen from Nude Sticks is a little bit brighter, but honestly, they're pretty friggin' close and it gives me the same vibes once it's actually on the face. That is beautiful. I definitely want to try more colors of that. Yeah, perfect for summer. So for eyebrows, I didn't grab anything new to try, but to keep with the drugstore theme, I am going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist, the pencil and also the gel just to lightly fill in my brows. I love, love this wand. I think it's so cool in their Brow Stylist Gel Mascara. It works so well, and it's just the most fascinating contraption. I love the shape of the wand. I honestly, those are my most favorite brow products that I've ever tried from the drugstore. They just like solidly cement the brow hair is so high up there. I love it. I think it's great. So moving on to the eyes, I wanted to try little cream foil shadows from All May. I've got the shade Golden Vibes and Cupid Glaze. And because we've got a little bit of a corally action on the cheeks, I thought it would be fun to maybe mix the two together just to see how they go. I have not used these yet. Oh yeah, they still got the little nibble. Ooh, yeah, that's the gold. How nice does that look? I love this packaging too. It reminds me of the old Mac paints. <laughs> oh yes, that is such a nice <gasps> pinky copper shade. Those are the two foil shadows there. How beautiful. I just wanted to do a little mixture of the two together and see what kind of poopy, muddy, pinky, bronzy color we get and just put that over the lid. Just for a nice wash. Honestly, okay, they're actually a lot more wearable than I thought they were gonna be. I thought they might be like very, very crazily pigmented and shimmery, but this is actually really nicely subdued. That's really pretty. VV wearable indeed. Just adds a little something, something of shimmery interest on the lid, you feel me? That is so pretty, I love that, it's so natural and light. I'm a big fan, big fan of how that looks. As per usual, I'm gonna go back and dip into the bronzer, the City bronzer, and I'm just gonna take that on the lower lash line. These bronzers are so powdery. It is like all over my pants. <laughs> There's so much fallout from this. I think I might actually just take a little swipe of this with a big fluffy brush, the warmer bronzer, and I'm just gonna go into the crease with that just to kind of 
blend it all together. Add an extra touch of warmth because those foil shadows, even though they're subtle, they're still very, very much foily and I kind of want this all to blend together. Very, very nice. Now, this is new from Rimmel. These are their So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliners. This one is in the shade Mighty Mocha. Let's see. Wow, that is a creamy liner, you guys. Look at this. Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> I went into my knuckle, oh my god. Okay, look at this. Look at how creamy and pigmented that liner is, that's crazy. I need to wipe that off. Ah, please don't stain my hand, please don't stain my hand. Wow, wow, be creamy indeed. Now they also have a blue one and I really wanted to try this but I just wanted to do like a bronzy look as usual but for now we're gonna go in with Mighty Mulch. Get it? That's mocha but mulch. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take this along the lash line and smudge her right in there. Wow, honestly, ooh, wow, it dries really quick. Very quickly, ooh, too quickly, eee. You're not giving me enough time to blend you out. Oh God. <laughs> okay, that dried down instantly, my friends, instantly. So work quickly. Really pretty color though, like a smoky brown. It's a little bit more charcoal than it is brown. Dries really quickly. I'm probably not gonna be able to do this on the other side, but we're sure as hay gonna try. Okay, so I've decided that I despise this liner. <laughs> It's like, it's like solidified goop on your eyeballs. Like seriously, the second you apply it onto the skin, it's like, it's like sticky, sticky, rock hard dryness. I really just had to fiddle with that quite a bit to get that to work. So maybe keep that reserved for a waterline liner. Ooh. It turned out okay, honestly, it turned out okay, but that was hard, that was hard to work with. Moving on to the So Fierce Mascara. This mascara also came out with this launch, so let's give it a go. Very, very lifting. It's not really thickening, it kind of separates the lashes more, so if you're looking for a more Separated lifted look. This is a good one. Not the most polybinding, so it's not my favorite mascara I've ever used from the drugstore, but it's also not the worst. I don't like the kind of rubber ones. The rubber ones, they're not as soft, and I always find myself stabbing my eyeball when I use these. It kind of just hurts. Does anyone else experience that whenever you use a rubber wand? I feel like it kind of just hurts my eyes to apply. Like the rubber like gets in there and stabbed me. It looks good though. I look very awakened. So I'm just going to remove all the foundation from my lips and I wanted to use the Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. I have used one of these before but never this color. This is the orangey one. It is the shade High End Coral and this coral looked very lovely and bright. Oh you know what it's pretty light actually but it's a really nice stain. I'm just gonna kind of like really messily rub that around my lips and create a very sun-kissed stain. It goes really nicely with this blush. Yes, very nice. I like it a lot. I'm gonna finish off with another spritz of this Olay Mist. I'm gonna try blowing out again. <gasps> the finished makeup look. This is the entire kind of summer inspired drugstore makeup look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have tried out any of these products in the comments down below. Let me know what you think, how you like this look. If you recreate it, be sure to tag me at Alanarama on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see your guys' looks recreated. And let me know what you think. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!